Hello again, and thank you for staying with us. Ghanaian actress and producer Nadia Buari featured on numerous local television dramas and films back home in Ghana. She later moved to uh, York or, or Nollywood Films in 2008. Nadia Buari joins us now in studio to tell us a bit more about her journey. Firstly, welcome to the program, Nadia. Thank you. And Thanks. it's really good to have you here. I mean, you're very popular in the West African entertainment scene, having starred in over 90 films. Uh, where are you likely to, see, to, to be starring in next? I mean, people are even s talking about you featuring in a South African film, if possible. Um, I'm definitely looking forward <laughs> to... Um, to feature in, um, in South African films very soon, hopefully. You know, the, the, the beautiful thing is I never really knew what, how much of a fan base I had yeah, out here yeah, yeah. until, like, I would go to public places and I get, like, hounded by fans, yes, you know. Yes. So I'm definitely looking forward to working here, um, just, you know, just being part of the South African film industry. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you know, crossing over, yeah. When you look at the local uh, film or drama uh, production scene here in South Africa, it would seem that there are great opportunities, especially when it comes to considerations for uh, location shooting, uh, et cetera. Uh, what have you observed so far from your visit here in South Africa? Well, definitely South Africa is beautiful. Um, um, the to um, topography is amazing, mm -hmm. um, landscaping. You know, definitely if you want... You can get whatever it is. Like if you want like an urban setting, you can get. If yes, you want like yes. a city setting, you can get. The weather is beautiful. So um, I think whatever whatever genre of movie that you mm. want to shoot, is this place is amazing for it. Yeah. I want to take a closer look at your profile. I mean, you've starred in acclaimed films like The President's Daughter and Deranged as well. And these are films that have also been well received over the years. What type of roles really appeal to you and the most when you've received an offer call so far? Um, the truth of the matter is I'm not really, I don't like to be typecast, mm. you know. So it's not so much about um, a role that's you know, attracts me. Yes, yes, yes. First of all, I have to fall in love with the story. I have to fall in love with the script. And then, of course, my role. And then just be sure that I can embody that character. So it's not so much, I don't, I don't receive a script thinking, oh, it's a rom-com or it's a um, psychological thriller. I'm a mm. sucker for psychological thriller. Okay. I've loved, I love psychological thrillers, mm -hmm. you know, but it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the scripts that I receive, I'm always like, you know, I want this. No, I don't like to be typecast. I like to diversify mm -hmm. myself. You know, I like to play different kinds of roles. So whatever script that appeals to me, I'm on for it. So your acting skills have also garnered, like we said at the beginning of our conversation, a lot of praise from West African countries. Uh, did you study acting, if you don't mind me asking? Um, so the thing is, if, if study acting is in reference or in regards to books yes, or like yes, yes. in school no i didn't mm -hmm. um i actually studied directing right. you know but i learned acting on the job um just you know i started acting i think in 2005 Do you, you think know? you had a natural flair for it um well yeah <laughs> 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 i definitely yeah, i definitely would say that so yeah. but i learned i learned over the years you mm -hmm. know with projects that i've been in and movies that i've seen so to definitely um, I learned, you know, on the job, not necessarily mm. in school, yeah. And speaking about your journey, are there particular individuals that you reflect and look back at who you'd say have contributed uh, quite, quite greatly uh, to your own career? Um, well, growing up in my country, Ghana, um, there were veterans I looked up to, like the likes of Grace Omoabu, Grace Note. Um, uh, there were women that were doing it in my country. So, and then of course in Nigeria there was the Joke Silva and then Genevieve and Omotola. There were people from my neck of the woods, you know. And watching them, I kind of almost knew that if they're doing it, I could do it too. So yes, they yes. definitely inspired me greatly. And how has that also laid, call it the foundation for you as an influencer as well? Uh, well, obviously, I've been able to build an, an enormous fan base, you know, so, and you know, social media now is a new TV, mm -hmm. so everybody, mm -hmm. like, almost everybody wakes up and the first thing they do is reach out for their phone and then they're on it, so I feel like a lot of um, brands definitely would want to affiliate um, people who have that enormous amount of following um, mm -hmm. to market their mm -hmm. products, so of course the reach would be out there. 
So here in South Africa, we're also commemorating Women's Month. Is there any particular message you'd like to drive, especially to young women who might have a, a dream to want, maybe one day find themselves as uh, actresses as well? I, I always say that, um, you know, it's, it's one thing to want to be an actor, and it's another to really be passionate about acting. Mm. You know, if, if your goal is, I want to be famous like, let's say, Nadia Bwari, or I want to do what she's doing, then, of course, when the challenges come, mm. you would find yourself crushing and probably quitting, you know, but you have to just make sure that it's something that you really want to do. Sit down and ask yourself, if acting is actually is something that I really want to do, then, of course, don't let anything deter you. Yeah. You know, just persevere, be determined. And above all, I always say that grace carried me here and grace will carry me on. So above all, if you're a believer, make sure that mm -hmm. um, you put God first in whatever that you do because definitely God would, mm -hmm. would, would have the final say. In the same breath, I mean, you speak quite fondly of your mother and the support of having your mother in helping manage your work as well as your family life. Can you share a bit more about that particular experience? Um, my mother is my best friend, mm -hmm. and um, I have kids. And to juggle career and motherhood is really tough. And for the simple fact that I have that great support system, mm -hmm. I get to live my dream. I get to do what I'm doing yeah. and then get to know that at least... When I'm on, on the field and I'm working, I have somebody that I could trust is taking care of my kids. And, of course, she doubles up as my manager as well. Yeah. So whatever happens, I'm, like, calling her, are you okay with this role? Are you okay <laughs> with this? So, yeah, I, I'm very fortunate and yeah. very blessed to have her in my life. Nadia, as you wrap up, I mean, with a career as successful as yours and having garnered so many accolades, tell us about uh, what's next for you. I'm looking forward to definitely, like I said, crossing over. Um, I feel like um, I've 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 done it. You know, I've 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 collected a lot of the accolades. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. definitely doing going overseas. You know, trying to experience new culture, yeah. like in, in new African. Definitely um, experiencing new def new industries, mm. movie industries, mm. you know, especially like out here, you know, even in Nairobi, whatever, just wherever I just want to go and just work. That's definitely it. But um, I have some movies in the pipeline that mm. I've worked on over um, the month. So um, that definitely that's going to come out and um, people are going to see my fan base are going to see like the new projects that I have out. And speaking about your fan base, I'm sure it's going to grow significantly uh, here in South Africa as well. But for those who don't know you, uh, how do they connect with you? It could be on social media. So I'm on Instagram, yeah. Nadia, uh, I am Nadia Bwari, and um, TikTok, I am Nadia Bwari1, and um, Twitter, I am Nadia Bwari. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Nadia, thank you so much. Thank for you so much for having me.